Hey, good morning. Today I'm doing the short story tag and I was tagged by Marion Ryan um, because she really loves short stories and she knows that I love short stories too. And we we're planning a buddy read of some Joy Williams short stories later on this summer. So I really like this tag and I thought I would go ahead and give it a try. I'm sitting outside today because the lighting is so good. Um, so if you hear noises in the neighborhood, that's why. Question one is, do you read short stories and write them or just read them? And I have written short stories in the past. Uh, I've taken lots of creative writing classes and workshops, and I have a lot of half-started short stories that are not very good. So I don't think I have the drive, at least not at the moment, to write short stories or anything really. What is your favorite sh short story? And I have a trio of stories that I love um, by Alice Munro in the collection Runaway. And they are longish stories, so they probably don't fit into the exact definition of a short story, but they're connected stories about a character named Juliet. And you see her in three different times in her life when she's young on a train and when uh, later visiting with her daughter and then at the third is when she's quite a bit older and it's also about a relationship with her daughter so uh, these are really good stories I like interconnected short stories I know they're not everyone's favorites but I think they work what is your favorite what is your favorite collection? And I have to say Interpreter of Maladies by Jhumpa Lahiri is probably my all-time favorite short story collection. Each story for me is its own little gem and it works, they work so well together and they open up a window on um, mostly immigrants from India to the United States. They work very well and I feel like I am deeply immersed in each world of the characters in those stories so that's a collection I could return to again and again and get something new each time I read the stories. Some of your favorite short story writers and I'm just going to give you the names of some collections of stories that I've loved and probably only read one or their only short story collection but they might give you some ideas of the kinds of short stories I often like and also that you may like and you might not have heard of some of these one um, the first one I have is the first one I have is called Barbara the slut by Lauren Holmes and every story in this collection is about a young woman's sex life in some way good and bad and traumatic and romantic and uh, she really was able to create interesting characters and interesting scenarios and then yet you still feel the overarching theme of what it's like to be a young woman in this time in our culture. Another collection I really loved is called If I Loved You I'd Tell You This by Robin Black and um, I do have a disclaimer that I do know Robin Black. I've um, She's come to Denver a number of times to teach at Lighthouse and a group of us befriended her when she was here a few years ago um, to talk about this collection. And so when she comes, we visit. And so I, I really like Robin, but I, apart from that, these stories are fantastic. And it was a really strong collection. There's a really strong story about a father who has a blind daughter that's really good. There's a story about a sister and a brother who go on vacation together and something tragic happens on the vacation and the aftermath of that situation. There's a story about a an older couple whose daughter comes back to visit and the daughter isn't very nice and it, the interactions and the hurts that come up from this relationship. She's a great writer. She also wrote a really good novel called, called Life Drawing about art and marriage and infidelity. So look for Robin and um, look for these two books. Everything Ravaged, Everything Burned by Wells Tower. These are really taut, masculine, I would call them, stories about people in peril and dangerous situations that are very plot driven but also very well written. Volt by Alan Heathcock. These are also um, very incredibly tense stories of people in peril and in various scenarios. Um, 
and he has only written this one collection. I don't know if he's writing anything else, but it's still a collection that some of the stories stick with me to this day. Uh, Nine Stories by J.D. Salinger. I really like him. I like really like the Glass family and I like the whole mythology of the families he's created in these novels or in, in these short stories. Civil War Land in Bad Decline by George Saunders. Um, these are all stories about simulation, simulation and workplace scenarios. A lot of them take place in like Disneyland like but much more uh, on the level of like a you know when a small family circus comes to town I'm like that level not something that's highly produced or a big company but just these little rundown amusement parks and um, all of the characters are in really bad straits and what they have to do for their jobs it's it's a really interesting set of stories um, I'm a big George Saunders fan. I know not everyone is, but I um, particularly loved particularly loved this collection. Um, anything by Alice Munro, I will read, and I still have some collections I haven't read, and I picked up a few book outlet collections recently, so I will be going through those soon. Do you have? Do you have a particular place to find new collections? I do a lot of online reading about books that are coming out, reviews. I watch way too much booktube and so I hear about it all pretty much through either journalism in some way or online, online journalism. How do you like your short stories? Um, I like a variety of formats. Um, I'm a big fan of the long short story. I think they're kind of a little art form in and of themselves and I'm really fine with just sinking into a long winded short story. Um, I am still on the fence about microfiction or very short stories. Um, I've tried reading Lydia Davis and while I like reading her in the moment, um, a lot of the stories just go right out of my head and I never think about them again. So. I don't feel like I have enough time to immerse myself in their in their worlds to get anything but an, like immediate gratification. What makes a good short story? Um, you have to create, a short story writer has to create a world that I can immediately get into. Not too much of a build up unless you're Alice Munro and that's kind of a different scenario. So, I, it has to have good characters, it has to have a world I can kind of at least relate to in some way, and then there has to be some pretty pivotal emotional scenes that will keep things going. What stories do you want to read more of or begin reading? Um, I have on my list, I want to read The Czar of Love and Techno by Anthony Mara. I loved A Constellation of Vital Phenomena, so I have heard nothing about nothing but good about the czar of love and techno so that's on my list um joan silber fools um a set of interconnected short stories about people in who make foolish decisions i believe that's what the premise is um, as you know i'm a big joan silber proponent a thousand years of good prayers by yi yun lee um delicate edible birds by lauren groff my daughter loves that collection, so I want to see what was in that collection. I like Lauren Groff's novels a lot, so I'm sure her stories in this collection are great. I've read a lot of her more recent stories if they appear in The New Yorker, but I haven't read her collection, Florida. And I want to read anything by William Gay, William Trevor, and Edna O'Brien because I know a lot of people I admire on booktube really like those writers. So that's my take on the short story tag. Thank you, Marion, for um, thank you, Marion, for tagging me. If you would like to do this, you should do it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.